Hello, and welcome back to BlackCoopMinistries.com. I'm Minister Love. Thank you for being with us once again on this Zoom Bible study where we are Bible lovers, achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom our weekly Zoom Bible study ministry. So glad to have you with us. As I said earlier, it is another great lesson here today. As you know, we've been studying on what does your name mean? And today we have another wonderful name. We're going to be talking about the name Mary. And so you're probably wondering, what does Mary name mean? Well, Mary name means blessed. That's right. It means bless. And so when you think of that word bless, what comes to mind? I'll give you a second to think on that one, okay? All right. I'm sure you, have, you know what it is. Many of us have grown up with that word blessed. Uh, you know, when we think of blessed, we think of someone that has been shown favor, especially a spiritual divine favor from God. Bless is when God has seen you, he's seen your heart, and he wants to bless you to do what he wants you to do, what he has called you to do. So you will be blessed. You are like being chosen uh, for this word uh, bless. We also think of like receiving uh, uh, like uh, God's, again, God's divine favor, huh? What we're receiving from him. It means someone that's been consecrated, someone that's been set aside to do an extraordinary task that maybe someone else may not be willing to do. And God will find you to do it and you will be what? Blessed. So with that being said, we have an understanding of what this word blessed means. So I love this part of the lesson because uh, this is going to be the key word today. Let me just go back. When we get into the scriptures, we always look for two things. Who is the scripture talking about and who's being blessed and why? You know, it's one thing to be blessed, but you want to know why. Why are you receiving this divine favor from God? What is it that the scripture is going to tell us that this individual did that will cause them to re receive such a divine favor uh, from God that we know as blessings or someone that is blessed? So with that being said, let's ask you this question. Now, do you know anyone named Mary? Anyone personally? Or what about someone famous name, Mary. Well, I'm going to start with someone personal. My grandmother uh, was named Mary. She went to go be with the Lord back in uh, 1993. And so my grandmother's with the Lord now. She raised me. And so I was trying to find some photos of my grandmother, you know, back in those days in the 50s and 60s, uh, 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 especially in the 60s where I grew up, they didn't take photos. We didn't take a lot of photos. But uh, later on, uh, I found a photo of my grandmother. It's not a, the best, but you will get to see a little bit of her. This is my grandmother right here in the middle. That's her with the glasses on. That is my grandmother. And uh, so her name is Mary. And she was a Sunday school teacher. Talk about being blessed. And my grandmother raised me from the age of three. And so she was blessed. She had God's divine favor to be a Sunday school teacher and to teach the young children to bring us up into the gospel I was one of her, her products, one of her students. So thank you, uh, Big Mama, for being blessed. Thank you that your mother named you Mary. I don't know if you knew what it meant, but now I know what your name means, and it means blessed. All right, then, everyone. What about someone famous? What about this lady, Mary Tyler Moore? You guys remember her? Remember that show she had back in the early 70s there? The Mary, Mary Tyler Moore Show. And before she was on that show, she was on the Dick Van Dyke show. So talk about being blessed. Mary had a reputation. She had a character about her that she was well-liked and well-known. She was just blessed with her character. You never saw Mary play a villain or, you know, uh, uh, like a prostitute or nothing. She just, she just had a certain flair, character, role that she would accept. And she really was 
blessed. Mary Tyler Moore. All right then, everyone. I'm sure you know some Marys too. So with that being said, let's get into the lesson today. And we're going to take a look again in this name, Mary. We're going to be looking at the name Mary here on today. And so let's take a look at the very first scripture. And we're going to go over to Luke. Let's take a look at Luke chapter one. And we're going to read verse 28. Luke 1, 28, please. All right, here we go. All right, and it reads. Matter of fact, let's do 26 through 28. 26 through 28, okay? Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph. Of the house of David, the virgin's name was Mary. There she is, isn't she? And having come in, the angel said to her, rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Wow, did you see that? Here is Mary, this little virgin girl, probably about 16, 17 years old. And here she is down here on earth, probably just minding her own little business, helping her mom and dad out, you know, around the house and everything. And here come an angel to visit her, the angel Gabriel, to come and visit her and give her a divine spiritual message. Why? Because she had been chosen, chosen to be what? Blessed. And the scripture says that she was chosen to be blessed among the many women. So the Lord could have chose anyone to bring forth his son, Jesus, but he chose Mary, didn't he? What a fitting one to choose. Someone named that means what? Blessed. Wow. And let's see, why did he choose her? Again, we just said, well, he chose her. He gave us the, gave her this highly divine favor because she was going to bring forth something. Take a look what it says here in verse 30. Let's go down to verse 30 and 31. Then the angel said to her, he kept talking to her, didn't he? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Wow, look at that. Did you see? This young girl, a virgin, and I'm sure she's, uh, you know the story, she got ridiculed even by her own uh, 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 espousal there, uh, Joseph ridiculed her when she got pregnant and he's not fully understand this this is a different kind of pregnancy this is that immaculate pregnancy for mary to be chosen wow talk about being blessed you know we are some marys today we've been blessed too we are carrying uh jesus too do you know jesus dwells in us jesus lives in us we carry him inside of our heart, not in our physical womb, in our uterus, but our heart is like a womb. That's where he lives. That's where he's growing inside of us, isn't it? Talk about Mary name, meaning what? Blessed. So there it is right there. So the angel tells us, talking to Mary, that she's blessed. Let's see who else in the God's word that has this divine favor of being blessed. I'm going to take you over. Let's go over to Genesis. We're going to go to Genesis chapter nine. Let's take a look at Genesis chapter nine. Let's get over there. And we're going to take a look at uh, verse one, Genesis chapter nine, verse one. And it reads, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. So now here we are all the way back in the Old Testament. Now we just left the New Testament where we saw that uh, the angel visited Mary and she's blessed. But now we got God, God himself. Didn't need an angel here to talk to Noah. God spoke to Noah directly and told Noah that he is what? Blessed. So see? Even in the Old Testament, God was blessing people. God blessed people. He needs individuals like you and I. He needs the Noahs. He needs Marys. He needs Carols. He needs Barbers and Johns and Peters and Paul. He needs so many. He needs all of us. He wants to what? Bless us. So here we have 
the Lord blessing Noah and telling him, and he chose him to, uh, this blessing is so awesome that Noah is going to be what? Fruitful. And he's going to multiply and he's going to what? Replenish the earth. Wow. Look at the setting here. The, the flood has happened. There's no, there's no other life or uh, other uh, uh, vegetation is on the earth. So Noah has been blessed to bring about people back to populate the earth. He's been blessed to, uh, to be into agriculture. So he has to be fruitful, not only in his, uh, in his loins and bring forth uh, uh, more generations that's coming through his, his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Noah, but he's gonna be blessed with grandchildrens and great grandchildren in the generations to come. Be fruitful and multiply. So it could be spiritual and it could be in the natural as well. Wow, what a blessing. When you get God to bless you, it is a beautiful thing. You know, when we sneeze, you, we go, achoo. And you know, people say, oh, bless you, bless you. But do you really know what you're saying? Do you really know what you're saying when you say bless you? Because God knew what he was saying when he said, bless Noah. The angel Gabriel knew what he was saying when he blessed Mary. So do we know what we're saying when we bless others? It's a powerful word. It means divine favor. It means that this person's life is about to change in a way that they never experienced before. When you get the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Again, I have to say, I'm a living witness. God has blessed me beyond measures. I have to do a show just on the blessings that God has done in my life especially since I became a widow woman. So with that being said, let's take a look at another scripture and see who's the scripture talking about this being blessed and why are they being blessed? Okay, so let's take a look at this scripture. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter six and we're gonna take a look at verse 11. 2 Samuel chapter six and we're gonna look at verse 11, okay? And it reads, the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months, and the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. Wow, did you guys see that? So here is this individual named Obed-Edom. And so here, David Nim is coming is coming back into Jerusalem. And, but they got the ark and the ark now is at this Gittite's house named Obed-Edom. And so before David could come back into the city, he needs to go and get the ark of the Lord from this Gittite's house. So I love this because how many people have heard of Obed-Edom? You know, and, and here's this individual that's not much is written about him in the Bible, but the scripture here. And it's showing us that this person has such a relationship with God. God has such divine favor on Obed-Edom, the Gittite, that he stayed with him for three months. What? That ark, you know, the ark of the Lord, that ark that carried the, the, uh, the, uh, it had the three things in it. Y'all help me out here. The Ark of the Lord. It had uh, Aaron's rod in it. It had the Ten Commandments in it. It had the showbread in it as well. So there, here, this Ark, and that was the place where God's presence would be, was in the Ark of the Lord. So he lived and stayed with Obed-Edom for three months. And what did the Lord do to Obed-Edom and his family? He what? Blessed them. What a beautiful thing that Lord will come in and dwell with you in your household for three months. You know, many of us, we get a relative to come in for two days and we ready for them to move out. But this, this ain't no just uh, anyone. This is God himself. And he chose to bless this man, Obed-Edo, with divine favor to allow him to live and dwell in his household. What about you today? Is God living in your heart? You know he can dwell in your heart. And to now that we've been born again, he doesn't have to stay. It's uh, not limited. It's unlimited. He lives here forever now. God don't have to stay for three months. He can live forever. All right, then, everyone. Pray that you're being blessed. Let's take a look at another scripture here on today. And we're going to go now over to uh, Luke. Let's take a look at Luke 
chapter 24, and we're going to go through 50 and 53. Luke 24, and we're going to take a look at verse 50 through 53. And again, the key word is what? Blessed. Who is the scripture talking about? And why are they blessed? What's the reason that God would come into your life and want to just, he just want to give himself to you. He just want to just just overflow you with blessings and favor. Who, who are you that God want to do that for you? You got to be someone special, huh? So let's take a look here. All right. And he led them out as far as Bethany and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Who is the them? Well, these are the followers of Jesus. When, when he um, uh, came back, this is, uh, this is, want to make sure here, this is his ascension. This is when he ascended back up into the heaven. So he led the people, the followers, all the way out to Bethany, to the, the vicinity of Bethany, the scripture is telling us here. And what did Jesus do? He lifted up his hands, didn't he? And he blessed those people. What? Can you imagine that? Jesus arose from the dead and he's on his way back to heaven. And he got all these people and all he had to do was just lift up his hands. He didn't have to touch them. He didn't have to go around touching all them people. He just lifted up the hand and just lifted up his hands and just spoke a word over them. And that spoken word was a blessing. Wow. And it says that when he blessed, while he was blessing them, while he was blessing them, he left them and he was taken up into heaven. Can you believe that? Jesus is going up in heaven. He's still talking. He's still blessing us, still blessing us with divine favor. You are the child of God, blessing us with the gospel. Uh, you are you are blessed to receive these teachings. You are blessed. I can just hear him now. You're blessed. Get the gospel. Get the message. You're blessed. You're going to be blessed with Peter and James and Paul. They're going to tell you all about it. You're blessed with the prophets. You're blessed with the Psalms. You're blessed with all the, the Old Testament, the New Testament. You're blessed. I can just see him telling us that as he's going up in heaven, just look at the clouds here. Look at this picture. Just imagine this, this picture that you're seeing here on the screen. Just imagine this is what Jesus is doing, ascending up above the clouds, in the clouds, and he's telling us that you are blessed. Wow. Why? Why, why is he telling us that we're, we're being blessed? Because we are blessed because we know he's coming back again for us. We're blessed because he know we're going to receive the word. We're blessed because he know our heart. He knows the condition of our heart. Wow, it's something. When you tell someone the next time, oh, bless you, understand that this blessing is a divine favor, that you're bringing on a powerful anointing, powerful uh, things to happen in this person's life when you say they're blessed. And you don't have to be a Mary to be blessed. You can be a Carol or Susie or Billy or Bob or Jack or Jim, anyone can be blessed. Amen. Let's take a look at our last scripture. We have one more we want to share with you. Matter of fact, let's go over to, uh, let's see, this is Ephesians. Yes, let's take a look at Ephesians chapter one. Ephesians chapter one. And we're going to take a look at verse three. Okay. Blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Did you hear that? Did you see that scripture? Here is Paul sharing with us that we need to bless, uh, bless God, who is our father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when we bless God, you know, blessing goes two ways. You know, a lot of us, we want God to bless us. Oh, bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. But do you know the scripture says that we can bless God? We can bless God. So here, that's what Paul is telling us. Bless God. Bless Jesus. And when we do, it's reciprocal, isn't it? And then in turn, they're going to what? Bless us. And notice what he said they're going to bless us with. I love this text. He said that they're going to bless us with all, all spirits spiritual blessings, you know that's divine favor when you get these kind of blessings. We know it's something, when you know, when you get a material or natural blessings, you know, when we get new cars, new houses, new clothes, you know, things like that. We say, oh, I've been blessed the Lord. Oh, God bless me with a car. God bless me with a house. God bless me with clothes. God bless me with this. He blessed, you know, it's things. But these blessings, 
These blessings are spiritual blessings. What in the world could they be? What could be a spiritual blessing? Unforgiveness, uh, 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 unbiased, no racism, no prejudice, love, joy, peace, kindness. All of these good things are spiritual blessings. Sharing and teaching the gospel, that's a spiritual blessing. Forgiving your neighbor, helping your neighbor, that's a spiritual blessing. Teaching and learning the word of God, that's a spiritual blessing. And the, and the scripture here says that we got to get all of them, all of them. All of the spiritual blessings, all of the, the, uh, the knowledge, the understanding, and the wisdom, these are spirits, and these are blessings. Ooh, this is really good. And it says that we, that we have been blessed by God. We've been blessed by Jesus. And also, don't forget the Holy Ghost is in the blessing business too. Don't leave him out, all three of them, because what one does, all three of them does as a union, as a unified uh, uh, deity in our lives. Wow, this is great. All right, everyone, I pray that you enjoyed this lesson today on Mary. And we found out that Mary name meant what? Blessed. But I don't think I remember telling you where the name came from. Mary is a Hebrew name. That is a Hebrew name. And let me just uh, clarify something as well. We say Mary in English, but if you were to go back to the Hebrew, they said Miriam. It was Miriam, it's pronounced Miriam in the Hebrew language. We say Mary in English. So I thought I'd just give that little nugget to you as well. All right then, everyone. So again, I hope you know someone named Mary here. I hope you know a Mary and tell them to tune in to BlackHoopMinistries.com. Have them to come to our website and check out this great lesson and they will learn about who they are in the spirit. All right, then. Well, you know, I love this part of the show as well. And I would like to introduce you to our websites. Yes, go to mybibleregistration.com. This is a wonderful website where we have a great international ministry where we're supporting the uh, pastors and ministers and bishops in the foreign international lands, such as India, as you see on the screen behind me. We're in Malawi. We're in Kenya, Tanzania. We are in 15 countries that God has blessed us to, for me to be uh, the Pentecostal Evangelical Outreach Director over these 15 countries. Would you help us please and be a blessing, be a spiritual blessing to those when you register your Bible with a cheerful donation to help the poor and needy to receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? because these are spiritual blessings. We have them and we want them to be blessed as well. And then also everyone, we have another website we would love for you to go to and that is sourceoutreachministries.com. Sister Sandy leads that uh, website. She's doing a wonderful teaching on overcoming the flesh this year. So check it out, you don't wanna miss it. And then we also have a YouTube channel. Check us out on the YouTube channel. All of our videos is centrally located when you type in the Bible Talk Show. There we have all of the websites of there where we have provided to you at your leisure anytime you want to click it on morning, afternoon, evening, or at night. You can go to the Bible Talk Show on the YouTube channel and click on our old videos, even our new videos. They are there. Why? Because these videos, these lessons are part of the spiritual blessings. All right then, everyone. God bless you once again. I'm Minister Love right here at BlackHoopMinistries.com, where we are Bible lovers achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Stay tuned with us. Come back next week. We're going to bring you another exciting lesson talking about what does your name mean? All right. God bless you all. Again, we're BlackHoopMinistries.com. Take care and goodbye.